Hey, Ryan and Tom here. This week at Secure It, we're gonna talk about how to upgrade your gun safe. We're gonna talk about our product of the week. Then we're gonna wrap up with some interesting things that we're doing and where you can find us next. So let's talk about gun safe interiors. What, what is, can you tell me what this is? <laughs> this is the interior. I pulled this out of a stack on safe, but it really could be any of the safes pretty much sold in America. This is the traditional gun safe interior. What it is, a piece of particle board, and it's lined with felt and is designed to uh, hold the barrels of guns. And what is your biggest frustration with this? Uh, anybody who's seen my videos knows I don't like this system. I don't like this. My biggest frustration is, to, is honesty with the, and integrity in that this is grossly misstating capacity. If there's no way 15 guns fits into a 12 by 7 inch spot. The other frustration I have, and we use the term respect doesn't end when you close the door. And you got to show respect for firearms 24 seven. And these systems don't hold them properly. More wear and tear and damage occurs to firearms going in and out of systems like this than just about anything else. Now, we've got a couple safes set up out in the warehouse. And what we want to do, we're going to go out and show you our frustration with these and show you what you can do about it. We've got some conversion kits that can turn this into, or turn these safes into, pretty effective gun storage systems. Let's jump out there and uh, we'll just go through the systems. So we're out in the warehouse. We have a Liberty Fat Boy Junior and a Stack on Elite. We're just going to go through and show you some of the issues that we see with how they store guns and a simple way to upgrade them and solve those issues. All right, so what I've done, I've taken half the safe and I've loaded in, I've got six rifles in. These are six of my more high-end, we'll say, rifles. And what I wanna show you right away, this is a 48 gun safe, 24 a side. I've got six rifles in here, it's pretty full. Granted, these are pretty good size rifles, but even if I had Winchesters, I'm not gonna get more than about 12 guns in here, 13, until they're really banging into each other. But this is a Falcor 300. This is our PSL. This is my Colt. Comp rifle. Now, they're all pretty much the same size, but if you did have a shorter rifle, it wouldn't fit in that rifle. Ca that no, bag. you'd have to do something with the shelf. I had a really short AR. All right, I've got the guns out now. What I've got is our steel six kit. So what you get is two steel panels, the stock basis, and six of the upper cradles, and the mounting hardware to mount your safe. To learn more about the kits, go to our website. There's a lot of other applications that people use these for. Now let's show you the install into the Liberty Safe. Okay, so I'm, first off, I'm gonna take out the, uh, the shelf out of here. I've got one of the panels. Now what I do is, I'm just gonna eyeball this, is I position the first panel about 10 inches off the bottom, because I don't, that's space that I don't want. I want more vertical space for my saddles. I've got a Sharpie marker, and I'm simply gonna mark holes, four holes on the uh, carpeting. Now the panels are held with, it's a threaded anchor and then it's a small little drywall screw. And I mean, one of the things you're gonna do with a safe is it's got this long pilot for going into walls. I take a pair of cutters, nippers, and just cut the tip off. You don't need it for this application. And if the drywall is really shallow on some of the cheaper safes, you don't want it to be really long. Now I've got my holes marked, and what I use, there's got three options. I've got an awl here, which I can just punch right through the drywall and just wiggle a little bit to make a pilot hole for the, I can also use a small Phillips head screwdriver, or you can use a small mason bit. Now with the mason bit, you gotta be careful that the carpeting doesn't twirl on the bit and kind of chew it up. So let me go, I'm gonna put this on my mark. All I'm gonna do is just, just boom, hit it in, wiggle it a little bit. Now I need to get a larger Phillips screwdriver. And then I just carefully screw the, uh, the mounts in place. Now go slow with this because you can strip these. Okay, I've got my anchors in place. I'm gonna take my panel Put the screw in the first hole. Now, when I install these, 
I do it with hand tools. Um, you can use a drill, but you run the risk with a lot of torque of stripping some of this out. So I, it's not that hard to do it by hand. Now I'm gonna tighten these up. I'm just using four anchors. The shear load on this system with the four anchors, we rate it 400 pounds. So you really got quite a bit of load capacity. Now I'll take the second panel and I'll put that up. And I just repeat the process with the Sharpie marker. Okay, I've got the panels in. Now I'm just gonna temporarily set the saddles in place. Stock bases go in. Stock base is going to secure it logo facing out, the steps going into the gun, or into the safe so your guns lean properly. And let's put the rifles back in. All right, so we've got all the guns in. That looks good. What are the advantages of this? All right, so right away, you've got a couple organizational awareness. You glance at this, you know if something's missing. You've got straight line access, one arm, one gun. I can take a firearm from the safe without banging into anything, without risk of losing zero or damaging an optic. Now I've got the gun stored here with all the optics in. You have the choice of storing the guns with the optics out. This gives you a lot of space behind the guns for accessories. You can look on our website, there's a wide variety of accessories. Given the choice in the room, I always recommend scopes in. If you've got something on a shelf, if you've got things in your hands, something falls, you'll never hit a scope, you won't lose zero or damage an optic. The system, as you can see, it was very simple to install and gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of weapon height or firearm height, firearm style. And you can trick it out with a wide variety of accessories. So let's look at the stack on. Okay. So here we've got a stack on elite cabinet and let's open it up and see what we have inside. We have some lever action rifles, some uh, hunting rifles in here with slings, and it's kind of a mess. So what we're gonna do is put our Rapid 6 kit in there to help smooth some of these storage issues out. Now, the Rapid 6, instead of using steel panels, we're using our injection mold and resin. This is made out of an olefin nylon blend. Just because it's lighter weight, it's injection molded, does not mean it's any less strength. We rate this for the same load capacity as the steel panels. Now, the panels have three holes you can mount them with the drywall screws and the anchors just like the steel panels, but also because of the lightweight nature, what we've done here is we've applied Velcro. I've got a third strip here. We put three strips of Velcro on the panels, and it's very simple to do. So just to be clear, the hardware, the screws, the hard, that hardware comes with the kit. That's correct. The Velcro is separate. Right. The Velcro does not come with the kit. If you're safe, has the carpeting, like the tight carpeting, this Velcro will work fine. I applied three strips of Velcro to the panels. And we're just gonna stick them right into the panel, right into the safe. Let's show you how it works. Now, one of the things you'll notice right away, the Beretta Storm with this safe, if you were to put the shelf low enough to hold this properly, nothing else would fit in it. This is a really, really short little gun. There. All right, so we've got the safe cleaned out. Let me grab the panels. Now I've got three of the panels that we put the Velcro on. I'm just gonna kind of estimate where I think they should go height-wise with these single panels about 16 to 18 inches off the ground, but they're easy to reposition so you don't have to get too critical with it. Now I put these in about a half inch from the edge of the safe. They're, they've got a notch so the panels will index and line up with each other very easily. And you just kind of press them in. Yeah, I just push them against. I'll raise this up a little bit higher just to give me some adjustment. I just you push them on and uh, the Velcro gives you quite a bit of shear load. If you're gonna put a lot of, like hang bins or accessories with a lot of weight, I would put some screws in. But for just holding rifles, the Velcro works great. So we've got the saddles and we're just gonna stick them in. The kit comes with bungees for the saddles. The bungees come with all of our saddles. They're mainly designed in the military for transport applications. If you live in an area where there's earthquakes or you're doing a mobile, like in a mobile home, you got this, this bungees. For safes and things like that, we don't use the bungees. They're just really not necessary. All right, so we've got the stock bases. 
Now, what we've got, I've got the little Beretta Storm. Now you've got the vertical ability to store the shorter rifles. And what you're getting is proper clearance, proper standoff to hold all these scoped rifles. Okay, so I've got the guns in. Now what I'm going to do, we're going to put the original stack on piece back in. Put that in, throw it in the back. That looks a lot better, and it was really easy to install. Yeah, with the Velcro, it goes right in. You know, Now, if you've taken the time and effort to invest in precision rifles or vintage rifles or just guns of quality, take the time to invest in good storage. Because, as I've said, most damage occurs going in and out of these designs. This is a poor design. Our system is integrated right with it. If it was mine, I'd pull it out, put another panel in there. But come to our website. Look at all the conversion kits. We make four different kits. We also make the system available in large panels. You can do an entire wall. The thing to remember is you've spent the money and time on firearms. Store them properly, and they will last a lot longer. All right, and next week we have the NRA show. See you there. Don't forget about our $10,000 gun room giveaway. That ends in June. Learn more about that on our website. And, guys, next week we have a major announcement. Um, this is a big announcement for Secure It. It'll be a big announcement for the gun storage industry. So stay tuned. Thanks a lot. See you next week.